Today we're working with Take Me Fishing to talk about five tips you should know for fishing while camping. Tip number one, what to pack. Think about the area, seasonal considerations, as well as first aid. These are all important things to have on hand while in the wilderness. Okay, in my back seat, you're gonna find some really cool stuff that I take with me all the time, but you're gonna wanna consider either making for your car, but especially taking for your fishing trip. Now right here next to Fluffy Cow, Fluffy Cow, I have one of my most prized truck possessions. What is this? My first aid kit. So as a former cop, I'm a little overzealous on my first aid kit. I have my multi-tool here. Oops good for multi-pole things. So it's a multi-tool. Um, scissors, window breaker in case a fish needs to, you know, escape from its fish car. Um, a tourniquet. The other essential things you especially want if you have kids. Um, everything from Advil. These little things are going to come in handy, especially when fly fishing. They're always good to have. Um, children's Advil, Tylenol, um, Chapstick, and other medications you might want to consider like Benadryl and Sudafed. I also have bandages here, and of course, random stuff like these little Q-tip things, which are good for applying Neosporin and other stuff, cleaning out ears or pulling out some things. Rubber bands, you never know when you need a rubber band, and of course, other sorts of tapes and bandages and wraps and things like that for cut scrapes and boo-boos. Now, it's important to note that this isn't going to <laughs> fix every single problem, but it's something you're definitely gonna wanna consider um, if like hooks get stuck in your fingers or ah, cheek, <laughs> things like that, until um, paramedics or anything that might be able to help you uh, can show up. So the fishing license is done, now I'm off to get some waters and Gatorades. So we stay hydrated. Oh yeah, maybe some ice. So I got some Gatorades, waters, I even got some Pop-Tarts for snacks, don't tell Chelsea. And the necessary sunblock. Now we're ready to hit the road. Tip number two, where to go. Consider getting tips from locals or guides. Consider the terrain, because you wanna make sure you can actually get there and you're equipped to do so. And also how to position your vehicle or yourself as close to the water as possible. <laughs> I typically like to ask friends uh, about where to go because they'll tell me that's why we're friends. Uh, or you can hire a guide to take you out. Another thing you could do is basically try to ask people at fishing stores or you can pick up one of these. This is actually produced by your local government and federal government and actually has all the regulations and tips and tricks and some maps even of places that you might want to consider going to catch those fish. to getting there, you're definitely gonna wanna get yourself a full-size diesel truck and put all this stuff on it, like all-terrain tires and a big suspension and a rooftop tent and all that. I'm just kidding. That's just the way that I do things because I like to go out a lot. Um, but you're definitely gonna wanna know what your vehicle is capable of if you're driving to your fishing location. Um, this isn't just for fishing, it's for everything. But it's something you're gonna wanna know um, when you head out on the road. Tip number three, transporting and care of fish. While camping, there's gutting and bleeding. I've never bled a fish, but gutting is a pretty simple way to take care of it. 
lastly, you might want to consider bringing along an ice chest with ice, of course, and Ziploc bags to keep the fish separate from other things you keep in there, like drinks and tasty sandwiches. So we're getting supplies to go fishing. Of course, my favorite. I like the Camp Chef cook stove. That's what I use to cook, uh, cook my fish in the Sierras. And of course, I need a cooler because my fridge is out of commission now. Another option is bringing along a dry cooler. Um, in this dry cooler on the way out, we keep Ziploc bags, uh, Clorox wipes, treats for the puppies, and of course, other types of snacks. They're always good to keep on hand. And it's a good way if you really don't want to put it in your big cooler, you can separate and use this one just for the fish. Tip number four, cooking your fish at the campsite. If you're camping and fishing and you're gonna eat the fish, which is why I fish, you're gonna to wanna to consider a couple things. Are you gonna cook with an open flame or wood? Are you gonna bring along propane and use a, a gas burner? And also, most importantly, you're gonna to wanna to remember to bring along things like seasoning and oils to make sure you can actually flavor some of your fish, which is a good idea. Whenever I go camping, I always have to remind myself to bring uh, spices and oil. Um, because when you cook, it's funny, I can't tell you how many times I've gone out and shown up to make breakfast or dinner and then nothing but a plain piece of meat. Now that's okay if you're a purist <laughs> or a caveman, but if you're trying to make a good dinner, you might want to consider a couple options and you don't have to bring a lot, just a couple things. So first thing is the simplest, olive oil. The old Italian adage, extra virgin olive oil. It's really good for lubricating your skillets and things like that. It's also really good uh, for getting spices and flavors to stick. Another simple one, uh, something like Lowry seasoning. It's got a flavor to it. Um, it's mostly good on like beef and stuff. You could try it on some like gamier type, I don't even know if that's a word for it, but gamier type fish. Um, there's also mesquite, which is one of my favorites. And then I have here a new one that I want to try, which is chipotle roasted garlic. That's also a good one. But if you are if you like to keep things simple, um, this is a really easy way to do it. Crushed red pepper, I'm sorry, crushed pepper, and just crushed uh, pink salt. Another thing is make sure you don't forget your propane if you do it my way, which is a little propane stove right here like this. Number five, clean up after yourself. Whenever we show up to a campsite, we always leave it better than we found it. That means if you pick up a couple extra pieces of trash, somebody's leftover sandal, a water bottle, that's always a great idea. Thanks for watching our tips and tricks. If you liked the video, please hit subscribe and also the like button, that would be good. And follow along with all of our adventures. And make sure to check out takemefishing.org for any other fishing advice that you might want, tips or tricks or any other how-to information that you might not have considered. Thanks again.